This has just been a quick sketch of a chimpanzee. I actually like doing these little animal sculptures and one of the reasons I like doing masks, you can hang them on a wall. So a lot of times sculptures, you have to get a table, you have to rest them on there. But doing a mask, it's very easy to cast too. So I can make a, a, a very quick mold out of this and make multiple uh, sketches of this, make uh, replicas. And it's fairly easy to make them. But of course, if you make a 3D head with the back of the head and everything, it's gonna be much more complex. This clay is a little bit too soft for this sort of sculpture. I almost prefer a harder clay than this because when you have a, a clay that's as soft as this it's very difficult to do the little tiny details in between the eyes for example and there is a technique for this sort of clay is that you can put it in the freezer and when you come back uh, like a couple of hours it's much harder and you can do scratching sort of sculptural techniques to get the desired look but when it's this warm this clay makes it uh, kind of flake so it's very difficult to see but if I use my tool and if I use my fingers it kind of burnishes it a little bit but sometimes if I'm using one of these scraping tools it leaves a little bit of the clay in there and that's not exactly what I want for sculpture these are the tools that I made out of uh, wooden sticks and they're pretty decent for this sort of uh, small sculpture. I have been busy doing other things that's why I haven't been posting up a lot of videos on sculptures but I'm planning on doing many more sculptures and actually if you have any ideas for upcoming sculptures you know write in the comments below but this is a um, just a quick sketch I think I've been doing a lot of quick sketches I'm not even sure if I'm going to be making a mold of this because it's uh, it's not particularly interesting. It would be kind of neat to have it as a, a doorknob or of some kind. And I think that might be the direction I would go with this. This is almost the same consistency as Chavant, but there is a green clay that's really good. I think it's called Vent Aiken. This is plasticine. This is an oil-based clay. I do like using oil-based clay for longer studies because I don't like to cover it with a cloth. And if you have very little ventilation. I think I prefer this over any other medium because you can just leave it uncovered and you can just keep working. I can put this away for a couple of weeks, months, and then I can come back and just rework it. And I think that's the benefits of these oil-based clays over water-based clays. The water-based clays give you a lot of super flexibility of course they're much cheaper and the reason I'm doing oil based things right now is because all the art stores have closed I cannot get any clay anymore so I'm kind of stuck using the existing clay that I have even mold making supplies there's very few of them for making and I think so I'm just gonna do like a series of these I'll dismantle it and I'll redo it again I don't think uh, there's a lot of demand for ape heads but I think I might do some more animal creatures but I just don't know what I don't know I haven't been very inspired lately and so if you guys have any ideas just post up in the comments below but hope you enjoyed this video of this little chimpanzee with his mouth open I don't know it might be a cool pencil holder or a tool holder 
put it like this. But I'm pretty much done. So it's just a quick little sketch to get your sculpture up to speed. And that's pretty much it.